Hey, Sue here with Get to the Farm. Welcome, fellow homesteaders and gardening enthusiasts, to a world where hustle and bustle of city life gives way to the tranquil rhythm of farm living. Here, amidst the rolling fields and green pastures, a new generation of pioneers is emerging, eager to reconnect with the land and forge a path towards self-sufficiency. Join us on this transformative journey as we leave behind the concrete jungle and embark on adventure of a lifetime. From the first tentative steps along our freshly tilled soil to the bountiful harvests that follow, each day brings new discoveries and opportunities for growth. Together, we'll explore the age-old traditions of homesteading, from raising livestock and cultivating crops to preserving the bounty of the season, through time-honored techniques like canning and pickling. But our journey doesn't end there. With a spirit of innovation and dedication to sustainability, we're constantly seeking new ways to live in harmony with the natural world, embracing everything from permaculture principles to off-grid living solutions. So come with us as we trade skyscrapers for sunsets, traffic jams for tranquil mornings, and the stresses of urban life for the simple pleasures of country living. Together we'll sow the seeds of a brighter, more sustainable future, one homestead at a time. To the farm. First, welcome City to Farm with Richard and Victoria. Richard and Victoria share their journey from big city living to farm life. Having left the concrete jungle, they now embrace country living, documenting their failures and successes along the way. Motivated by rising food and gas prices and environmental concerns, they aim to reconnect with nature and become more self-sufficient. I'm really enjoying finding out more about you and the story behind your homestead. Welcome Learning the Harding Way. Meet the Harding family, Adrian, Scott, and their children, James and Coleman. Motivated by self-sufficiency, food insecurities, and a desire to escape the traditional rat race, they embarked on homesteading in 2020. Beginning with chickens, they expanded to include rabbits, gardening, and fruit trees on their half-acre plot. Their journey led them to find a new home where they pursue their homesteading dreams aspiring to incorporate chicken tractors, beehives, an orchard, a dairy cow, and achieve self-sufficiency within five years. I'm really looking forward to getting to know more about your family and your homestead. Animals by the Acre is a small hobby farm in Iowa. They have been dedicated to raising goats for over 20 years. With a variety of breeds, including Kuni Kuni pigs, Nigerian dwarf goats, mini Nubians, Toggenbergs, and fainting goats, their farm is a vibrant hub of activity. Today, they share with us kidding, care, and maintenance tips for goats. The Minnick family shares their journey as they explore life on a five-acre farm in Ohio. From beekeeping and honey sales to DIY projects and culinary adventures, their channel offers a glimpse into the joys and challenges of rural living. With a love for sustainable practices and a knack for renovating their 1900-built home, they embrace the homesteading lifestyle with enthusiasm. Dive into the world of gardening with Patrick, a passionate gardener with over 30 years of experience. Through his videos, Patrick shares his expertise in organic gardening, composting, seed starting, fertilizing, container gardening, and pest management. Whether you're an experienced gardener or a novice, his goal is to make gardening easy and accessible for everyone, while also promoting sustainable practices and healthy living. After some seed starting and Checking out his annual plant sale, Patrick tells us about using leaves in our garden. Kenny and AJ at Abundant Acres Homestead 
share their inspiring story of overcoming challenges and embracing homesteading. From their childhood memories of playing on the farm to their journey of self-sufficiency and resilience, they offer a glimpse into their life on the land. Through laughter, hard work, and determination, they strive to create a sustainable and fulfilling lifestyle. The hiking homesteaders, Evan and Carolyn, are an outdoor couple building their homestead in the Maine woods. After completing a through hike of the Appalachian Trail, they decided to set roots and embark on a new journey. Formerly known as Gypsy Trails, the hiking homesteaders aim to live simply and share content centered around homesteading and outdoor adventures. Through their videos, they hope to inspire others to embrace a self-sufficient lifestyle and appreciate the beauties of nature. I've really enjoyed the break from homesteading as they hike around Europe. The trails are exciting and the views breathtaking. Meet Suzanne, also known as What the Farm Girl, and her husband Eric, first-generation farmers on their 87-acre farm in Michigan. Suzanne, originally a city girl, took on the role of head farmer, managing the farm despite her lack of experience. From making maple syrup to caring for various animals, Suzanne showcases their adventures and challenges on their horse hay and you cut Christmas tree farm. It's great that they're finally able to build a house on the farm. We join the homestead at Flat Rock, located on the island of Newfoundland, as they navigate the challenges of island living and strive for sustainability. Facing issues of food security and energy independence, they embarked on a journey to create a more sustainable lifestyle. With a focus on passive house design, gardening, food preservation, and renewable energy, they share their experiences and lessons learned, offering inspiration for others seeking to live more sustainably. Today we stop in for composting and tips on making fish fertilizer. Junid Acres is an unconventional homestead in Oklahoma run by the Junid family. With a bustling array of animals, including donkeys, horses, llamas, kunikuni pigs, sheep, chicken, bees, and even camels, their homestead resembles a lively zoo. Despite the diverse menagerie, the Junid family embraces the joys and challenges of homesteading with enthusiasm. Dive into the Alaskan wilderness at the Gnomestead a channel dedicated to off-grid living in Alaska. Through his videos, Nomi shares his experiences of living, learning, and loving life off-grid in the last frontier. From canning and preserving food to navigating the challenges of remote living, Nomi offers insights into their Alaskan lifestyle, providing us with a glimpse into the beauty and resilience of living in the wilderness. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the wonders of homesteading and gardening. We hope you've been inspired by the stories, tips, and insights shared today, and that you'll continue to explore the rich world of self-sufficiency in your own way. Until we meet again, remember, the path to self-sufficiency is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. So, keep sowing, keep growing, and above all, keep dreaming. Get me to the farm